first time in more than a decade, Indiana lawmakers will be called back to the state mm -hmm. capitol for a special legislative session. So Governor Eric Holka made the announcement this morning uh, at his residence. Ever State House Bureau Chief David Williams broke the news on Twitter and Facebook today. He joins us now live from the state house with more. David, good evening to you. Good evening to both of you. It is quiet now, but in about two months, this place will be packed with lawmakers once again. We're just outside the governor's office, and he told me earlier today the last time a special session was called in a non-budget year was 16 years ago in 2002. Let's backtrack to how we got here last week. State lawmakers in both houses, who, by the way, make up a Republican supermajority, didn't get to several bills before they ran out of time. Some of those bills were part of Governor Eric Holcomb's legislative agenda. Why do you think lawmakers couldn't agree and ran out of time? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Um, uh, I, I don't, as many of you know, I'm not going to. Um, be tempted by blame storming. I'm going to brainstorm about the future and how we get this done. That future now includes Governor Holcomb calling lawmakers back to Indy for a special session to, quote, put time back on the clock. He's asking lawmakers to zero in on five areas, including federal tax compliance issues, plus school security and funding. A Muncie School, uh, Community School Corporation, uh, is in dire need of a $12 million loan uh, to, to ensure that they can continue to operate and make some of the capital improvements. Adam Baker is the spokesperson for Indiana's Department of Education. Uh, we said from the beginning uh, that if he were to call a special session that we would definitely be interested in that. Uh, you know, school safety, you saw that was number one. I mean, his number one thing was making sure that schools had the money they had. House and Senate Republicans praised today's announcement. Senate President Pro Tem David Long said, quote, the Senate will support his decision and work diligently to complete the task he sets out for us. But Senate Democrats slammed the decision, highly critical that DCS isn't on the list. House Minority Leader Terry Gooden said the only reason we are even talking about a special session now is because of the mismanagement demonstrated by those in charge of the legislature. So the governor says he thinks that special session could last only a few days. One of his spokespeople tells me it could cost upwards of $30,000 in taxpayer money from an already funded and set aside fund. We're live at the State House. I'm David Williams, 24-Hour News 8. All right, David, thank you very much.